Hello, boys and girls. It's Auntie Mimi here. Today, our funny little book is called Mrs. Wobble the Waitress. Sounds great, doesn't it? If you've not already subscribed to the channel, please do so now. Then sit back, get comfortable, and let's begin. <laughs> Mrs. Wobble was a waitress. She liked her work. The customers liked her. The only trouble was... She wobbled. One day, Mrs. Wobble wobbled with a bowl of soup. The soup landed on a customer's dog. Mrs. Wobble got told off. The next day, Mrs. Wobble wobbled with a roast chicken. The roast chicken landed on a customer's head. Mrs. Wobble got told off again. The next day, Mrs. Wobble wobbled with a plate of jelly. The jelly landed on the manager's head. Mrs. Wobble got the sack. Mrs. Wobble went home to her family. Mr. Wobble cooked her tea. The children tried to cheer her up. Cheer up, Ma, they said. You will find another job in another cafe. I've got the sack. But there were no other cafes. That was the only one in the town. Mrs Wobble knew this. There are no other cafes, she said. And she began to cry. The children did not like to see their mother cry. It made them cry. It made their father cry too. Then Mr Wobble had an idea. I know what we can do, he said. We can open a cafe of our own. Where, said Mrs Wobble. Where, said Miss Wobble. Where, said Master Wobble. Here, said Mr Wobble. We can turn the house into a cafe. The next day, the Wobble family turned their house into a cafe. They cleaned and painted. They moved the chairs and tables around. They changed the curtains. Mr Wobble went shopping. He bought meat and vegetables, fruit and fish, cheese and chicken, flour and a few other things. The children went shopping too. They bought two pairs of roller skates and a fishing net. What are those for, said Mr Wobble. It's the surprise, Pa, the children said. You wait and see. Keep still. How do you spell sausage? In the evening, Mrs Wobble made waiter's clothes for her children and a cook's hat for her husband. Mr Wobble and the children made the menus. The children went to bed. Mr and Mrs Wobble stepped outside. They looked at their new cafe. It's the big day tomorrow, Mr Wobble said. We're going to make our fortunes. Yes, said Mrs Wobble. The only trouble is, what if I wobble? The next day, the children woke up early. It's the big day today, Ma, Master Wobble said. He gave his mother a cup of tea in bed. Miss Wobble gave her father a cup of tea in bed. We're going to make our fortunes today, Pa, she said. It's the big day today. We're going to make our fortunes. After breakfast, Mr Wobble began cooking. Mrs Wobble and Miss Wobble laid the tables. Master Wobble went round the town with a sandwich board. The first customers arrived. Oh dear, said Mrs Wobble, what if I... Mrs Wobble wobbled with a bowl of soup. Help, said the customer. Miss Wobble skated to the rescue. She caught the soup in another bowl. That's clever, the customer said. Mrs Wobble wobbled with a roast chicken. Wow, said the customer. Master Wobble skated to the rescue. He caught the roast chicken in a net. Hooray, the customer said. Then all the other customers cheered. Hooray, hooray. This is more fun than a circus, they said. Bravo, hooray. 
What fun! That night, Mrs Wobble counted the money. It looks like a fortune to us, Ma, the children said. Mr Wobble gave them a hug. And we owe it all to the famous juggling waiters, he said. The next day, there was a big crowd in the street. The people had come from miles around to see the famous juggling waiters. The children peeped out. There's a big crowd in the street, Ma, they said. Yes, said Mrs Wobble, and she began to laugh. Now, the only trouble is, what if I don't wobble? The end. Well, that was a funny little book today, wasn't it, boys and girls? I do hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. As always, I want you to be kind to one another, look after one another and try and have some fun every single day. Until next time, bye-bye.